Hi guys, Asante Nisana. Thank you for coming. I know you have uh, uh, very crowded schedules. Um, I'm going to read a short statement. By my side is Willis Otiano. I'm sure you all know him. He was my running mate in uh, 2022, Naako Hapa. Uh, let me proceed. I don't care President Ruto is out of money to respond to the floods disaster. Dear Kenyans, today I am deeply saddened by the devastating large number of Kenyans who have died, injured, or have had extensive destruction to their lives during these flash floods. Equally, I am extremely disappointed with the inept and incompetent don't care Ruto, who has found it necessary, unnecessary, to declare these, funds, these floods a national disaster. This presidential indifference to the enormous human suffering of the Kenyan people is appalling and horrifying. A don't care Ruto must unequivocally apologize to the people for his contemptuously abandoning them. On behalf of myself and my family, I would like to extend my heartfelt condolences and sympathy to all the breed families and all those adversely affected by this unforgiving disaster. I stand in solidarity with you during this difficult time. Kenyans, in the last more than 72 hours of Kenya Kwanzaa government in action, to set up and coordinate rescue and emergency services across the country. It has exposed a don't care Ruto as a government that is financially bankrupt. All Kenyans affected by this horrible disaster are entitled to receive full government assistance. After all, that is why we pay taxes. Consistent with their urgent needs and priorities, a legitimate government is responsible for the safety and well-being of its citizens. That is the oath a don't caring Ruto took to protect life and property. As Ruto does not care, there are many Kenyans who have cared. Kenyans and friends of Kenyans have come out to express their compassion and render generous support including taking risks to rescue our brothers and sisters. Our togetherness is our strength. I would like to mention just about three people here that have stood out uh, across this, 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 this city of Nairobi. Uh, one is a lady called Mzalendo Wanjera uh, of Madare and a lady called Hanifa of Madare. I also, you know, they say that each also cry in such crises. In Runda, there is a man called Pascal Kambuda who has been very critical in removing a lot of the drainage in people's homes there. These are heroes, and I'm sure many, many heroes from Maimahio to Elwak to Kilifi are going to come out so that you see the true Kenyans that are patriotic. This disaster has demonstrated to Kenyans that our country is not exceptional. God loves us but we are not necessarily the so-called shielded. We are vulnerable and fragile. Our long-standing systemic political failure is sinking this country into the abyss. Further, this disaster has brought forth the crippling effect of our mammoth debt. A don't care Ruto can no longer live in denial. This debt is painfully killing this nation. Because of the debt crunch, this country is out of money to meet its even most urgent requirements such as this, funding our rescue emergency services. You've not even seen the activation of our disaster center because they cannot find the money. We have been humiliated taking a begging bowl around the world in order to help our people at a time of need. In July 2022, I brought the attention of this nation 
to a forensic report we did on the public debt heist. We warned that the country is dangerously heading to debt distress with dire consequences. We are now living it. We are now living it. We were labeled alarmist. We've been talking for two years. We were labeled alarmist. Today, we are officially a country in debt distress. We are going through what you call a slow fiscal death. Neither raising taxes or borrowing more can resolve our chronic problem. Our country is disastrously sinking, fueled by this crushing debt. We are forced into a choice of servicing enormous debt and odious debt to serving our people. The levels of debt are so staggering. Public debt is estimated at 73.2% of GDP. What is more crucial, and I think you should note this, is that today as we talk in nine months, 83% of our tax revenue is going to the payment of debt. It's going out. Doesn't serve us. It is going out to bad debt. The government has no money to react to our crisis. And unfortunately, the blue-eyed boys of the IMF and Western capitals, even those who are here, are busy telling us that our economy has stabilized. That is a lie. To understand this devastating debt, debt situation, a don't care Ruto has no money to fund this, debt, this crisis of, of floods. He is unable to meet his development and service provision obligations. He cannot pay pensions to retirees. He is unable to make disbursements of constitutional revenue share to counties. You've seen governors complaining about no money to mitigate against this current disaster too. His funding education capitation has become a nightmare to him, forcing schools to charge exorbitant parents' fees. His pending bills, our don't care Ruto, pending bills are now over one trillion shillings and have completely overwhelmed businesses who are being shut down by auction, by auctioneers. Our public debt system, our public health system, has literally collapsed due to callous failure to, to pay our doctors, negotiated and signed CBA agreement. I don't care, Ruto, must stop lying to Kenyans. Tomorrow, civil servants and workers are celebrating Labor Day with tears and bleeding hearts because of these crippling tax conditions. Kenya is officially under IMF economic and fiscal straitjacket. IMF has imposed toxic, irresponsible, and harsh policy conditions that have only worsened the country's dire economic situation. While I don't care Ruto took a high interest loan to, a divert, to avert a direct default on the 2 billion euro bond maturing in June 2024, this has only compounded the debt problem. The country already has debt distress that is sucking oxygen out of the economy. The expensive loan is partly to partly resolve the threatening eurobond crisis, only kick the can down the road at a very high cost. Borrowed loans in excess of the next two generations to pay, to pay in violation of the constitution. The only way out for Don Keruto is to stay with his current financial painful fiscal and tax policies path which is taking the economy to the grave. Alternatively, he agrees to what we have suggested over and over again, debt default, and kickstart a process of debt restructuring. In agreeing to default, I don't care Ruto will be breathing fresh space into Kenyans' lives. This will pave way for an independent, comprehensive forensic audit and investigation of public debt and allow the country to agree on the necessary radical economic and government structural reforms. The sovereign debt challenge can no longer be treated as a movement of wagons of borrowing, spend and tax. This has to be established and contestably evidence of the fact 
of the real public debt. The sovereign people of Kenya must get a comprehensive picture of the nature of debt, what it was borrowed for, why, what was it lawful, whether it was used like for the purpose that it was borrowed, was there value for money, and the authorization to borrow the debt. Those who have been borrowing humongous loans without adhering to the Constitution and budget laws must be held individually and collectively liable. They must be paid, they must be made to pay this debt. In conclusion, Kenya's economic problem is a political problem. Please understand it. I don't care Ruto is the main problem. He ascended to power through political lying and deceit. He lacks political legitimacy. He has escalated his lying to grabbing. He is lying by grabbing Kenya's hard-earned income through mpende msipende punitive taxation. The gross mishandling of the devastating funds has only confirmed this. He has reached his dead end. Don't care, Ruto. Must go now. Asante Nisana. I also would like to add that uh, as a family, we have what is called the Maina Wanjiki um, Foundation that is giving uh, a contribution to Red Cross to help those who are affected. Uh, it is a large contribution. We would rather not say it, but we are giving to the uh, Red Cross to help victims of this current disaster. Thank you. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.